a summary of Drake's latest update arrests, extraterrestrials and prosperity funds Pentagon insider Drake has released his latest update of the goings-on behind the scenes in regards to the mass arrests of many members of the criminal organization referred to as the Cabal. Drake's presentation was approximately three hours in length and as such, I will take this opportunity to very briefly summarize some of the points that I feel you may find of interest. Drake stated that the extraterrestrial presence is indeed real and they are indeed here in our world at this time and are taking an active role in the arrests of the members of the criminal cabal. One of the more interesting statements by Drake was that the extraterrestrials have issued a deadline for the arrests of the members of the criminal cabal and that deadline is June 21, 2012. Beyond that date, Drake claims the extraterrestrials have stated that they will begin to make these arrests themselves. Drake further states that one of the plans of the extraterrestrials is to use their technologies to identify negative beings within the human population and take them into custody, separating them into two groups. One group that can be rehabilitated and one group that cannot be successfully rehabilitated. Drake asserts that the extraterrestrials stated that they will take the negative beings who cannot be rehabilitated and deposit them into the central sun of this universe, effectively recycling their energy and returning it back to Creator. Drake went on to say that the extraterrestrials have stated to the Earth allies, members of the Pentagon, CIA, militaries and militias in favor of our new system. That time is running very short and much work is needed to be accomplished to allow the extraterrestrials to assist us in many projects that will allow for as smooth a transition as is possible for our planet and humanity, corroborating many recent Galactic Federation of Light communications. Drake also continued to state that the extraterrestrials stated to the Earth allies that the latter part of our year of 2012 will issue humanity challenges in the form of earthquakes and rising sea levels throughout several parts of the world, further corroborating Galactic Federation of Light communication shared in many messages over the past few months. Drake also states that the extraterrestrial stated that the obstacle of the cabal needs to be removed to allow the galactic commands to assist humanity through this transitional period ahead. Drake wished to explain that the extraterrestrials that are here are performing what he refers to as charity work, and they should be recognized and appreciated for what they are doing. Drake states that the extraterrestrials asked the Earth allies to share a video. And if you have not viewed this short five-minute message I will include it here, Drake went on to state that Cabal faction chiefs Rockefeller and Rothschild wish to now surrender as they see no other alternative. Drake mentioned the prosperity funds and says they have now been opened and that the collateral accounts have also been freed through the work of Neil Keenan and many others. Drake went on to say that he believes a number of prosperity packages have been sent out to those in need and who are participants in some sort of deal or agreement. Drake stated that as a condition of unconditional surrender, the Cabela Corporation Monsanto and each and every product of their manufacture would be eliminated and removed from our society and not be allowed to ever be a part of our society in the future. Drake discussed the lien placed against the Bank of International Settlements as well as a cease and desist order for 90 days against the institution which could have important ramifications for the collapse of the old system and the launch of the new financial system. Drake advises the citizens of the United States and the world to be vigilant for cabal sabotage against targets such as utilities and other systems in our country, as there may be members of the cabal who do not wish to go out without causing some problems. There was certainly more to Drake's three-hour presentation though I believe the summary shared here offers fair insight into Drake's latest update.